The world of transport is going electric. The danger is that it also becomes boring. Are we taking away some of that magic? Day one of working on the smallest car that we've ever had in our workshop. This is the Mini 4 Mini. Hi, I'm Dave, and I'm one of the co-founders of Felton. We're an electric vehicle technology development company. One of the big questions we get when we convert a classic car to EV is, is it the same car? It's so important to preserve the fun of driving a classic Mini because I'd heard that term go-kart-like handling, but when I first got in the classic Mini and I drove it out and took my first corner, that was when I really I got it. I'm your probably typical middle-aged person who is a little bit skeptical about these electric cars. My name is David McAdam. I've been driving Minis for 49 years. I've been doing club motorsport now for some 40 and a bit years. I've had more Minis than I can count. I just love driving them because they're so intuitive. I had some reservations um, about the car being too heavy and losing its balance. I thought there was a risk of it being removed from what a real Mini is. There's that moment where you sit in the car for the first time and put the key in. The right lights come on and it's silent. It's on and it's ready for a whole new electric life. I could do that all day. It is absolutely unbelievable. Nothing changes when it's electric. In fact, it's all better. The input of power was amazing. It was beyond what I thought it would be. Far beyond. Right down to the plug into the fuel caps, just beautiful. Mini can push forward what it's always meant, that it's just that driving experience. And that needs to be part of our electric future as well.